Hey guys and welcome back to Ultra Game World. Today we are looking at the 1050 Ti in 2021 and we will be putting it through its paces in a couple of games, probably about five or six games and see, see just how good it is. Can it still hit 60 FPS at 1080p at low settings in most games or is it just past its sell by date now and just getting a bit too old and can't do it and you have to drop down to 720p? Let's see and let's jump in to those benchmarks right now. So jump in into the uh, first game here, 1080p on GTA 5. Here are the settings here, just like all normal or off, fairly low settings all across the board. Let's jump right in now. As you can see up there, there's 90. Let's, uh, so it's, yeah, let, let's just keep driving around for a bit. It's around about 90, 95, 100. Let's just uh, start running a benchmark and see what we get. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> so looking at our benchmarks here, we can see an average frame rate of about 92 frames per second with the 1% low of 69 and the 0.1% low of 61 FPS for GTA 5. So jumping into Crisis Remastered here, 1080p, all low settings as you can see here. So we first jumped in, we're about uh, 90 to 85 FPS, let's just do our benchmarking now and see where we get. So Crisis Remastered at 1080p low is an average frame rate of 86 frames per second 1% low of 23 and a 0.1% low of 21 so we are getting a lot of drops under the 30 FPS there so you'd probably want to set a cap at, at the 60 FPS if you were playing this but still perfectly playable at 1080p low Crisis Remastered. So jumping over to Red Dead Redemption 2 we have 1080p again we are favouring performance here, so a lot of our settings are low, just go through the, here. A couple of medium, but nothing really else much on uh, anything else. So basically low we're, we're doing here. We are going to uh, jump in to, a, to the, the game now. Here we go. So we've just loaded up here. As you can see, we're a little bit struggling here at 1080p, unfortunately. Around about the 35 to 40 FPS at the moment. Let's start our benchmarking. I think Red Dead Redemption 2 generally keeps its frame rate fairly stable, so even though we might be around the 40 to 45, or maybe even dropping towards 35, we should be fairly comfortable around here. We shouldn't get too many drops, but we'll see. see we're really stressing out our graphics card here and even our process has been uh, stretched a little bit as well so for Red Dead Redemption 1080p low average frame rate 39 FPS 1% low 30 FPS and a 0.1% low of 25 frames per second so again you're not really going to get 60 FPS here, you would have to drop down 720p. Maybe you could get away with 900p um, to just boost your frame rate a little bit, but I think for a single player game 30 FPS is acceptable. So jump, jump in into our uh, last game here, just for today. We've only been able to get four games up, uh, I do apologise about that, but four and a half Fortnite had quite a big update and also Cyberpunk had quite a big update so I've not been able to get them in on time unfortunately. But Witcher 3 now, it's a little bit older game, 
Uh, we're going to go 1080p low. Potentially might try for medium if we get decent results. But let's just see what happens at 1080p low. So jumping right in, we're actually quite good here. Around about the 70 to 60 FPS. So, certainly playable. Let's just run our benchmarks now. Yeah. Oh. So let's jump into our benchmark results then. For The Witcher 3, the average frame rate of 62 frames per second, 1% low of 52, and a little bit worrying, 0.1% low of only 11 frames per second. So there is quite a few dips here. Now that could be because I'm using a four core, four thread processor, the 3200G. It does seem a little bit odd that it dips so low, but certainly if you wanted an average 60 frames per second at 1080p low for The Witcher 3, you could do. And if you were happy with 30 frames per second, you could certainly either put a 30 FPS cap or you could potentially go up to medium settings to 1080p. So that basically wraps it up for the 1050 Ti review in 2021. Now this is a 4 gigabyte card released in 2016 so it is 5 years old and you will have to bear that in mind that performance wise you are probably looking at most at 60 FPS in 1080p and probably having to drop it down for a few titles and set 1080p at 30 frames per second or go to 720p at 60 frames per second. Again, that's only on some titles. Overall, I would say you could just about get away with this in 2021 as a 1080p card, but you're really pushing it and it really is showing sort of end of life now in terms of a graphics card that is going to be used for future games because unfortunately, although I've not tested uh, Cyberpunk, Unfortunately, that isn't going to run anything decent, really, even at 720p. I mean, you're probably looking at about 30 frames per second on this card, unfortunately. But if you're looking to run that game, I don't think you're going to be running a 1050 Ti. Now, obviously, the only reason why you'd probably consider this in 2021 is because of the whole lack of GPUs and the crisis that we're kind of in. Overall, would I say buy this? Uh, if you can find it for £100 or less, yes. I think once you're getting towards £150 and certainly above that, I would say no. I certainly wouldn't buy it brand new unless there's a very good offer, brand new. You're going to have to look on the used market, I think. I think maybe if you can get this in a gaming PC and the PC is not too bad spec around sort of the 300 to maybe 400 at most sort of price. Yeah, it's not a bad little option to get you through this little time and then hopefully... In maybe six months' time, or maybe even more, we don't know how long it's going to take until the graphics card availability and also price has kind of come back to what most people can obviously afford and get. I mean, obviously you can go pre-built, but at the moment um, that's probably your only option. There's just not much options out there. It's a bad time, unfortunately, for building PCs, but it it is what it is, and we are where we are. So overall, yeah, it's not a bad graphics card. Is it a great graphics card? No. Will it get you through maybe a year or two just about as long as you're prepared to play the older games then you'll be fine obviously newer titles like cyberpunk just not going to happen really so i think that basically wraps it up guys thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye guys